Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that might be the nicest 57 Chevy on the planet. You want to talk about cool? This thing is absolutely gorgeous, guys. It's definitely been on rotisserie. It's got a Morrison frame underneath it. The paint is slick as can be, and I'm telling you, the paint on the bottom side, the wheel wells, everything on this car look absolutely beautiful. Body man on this car knocked it out of the park. What a beautiful job they did. All the chrome looks like it's brand new. Just an amazing piece. All the aluminum's polished on this thing. You gotta watch the whole video, man, because we're gonna put it up in the air here in a minute, and we're gonna show you the bottom side of it, too. You're gonna have to get some mirrors and show this baby off. As you look down the side of it, look at the bodywork there. Straight as an arrow. Look at the fitment on the door. All the lines look good. It lines up nice with the front fender. It lines up nice with the quarter panel. It lines up nice with the rocker. I mean, just everything about this thing is absolutely gorgeous. You see how easy that opened? And that's stock hardware too, guys. Look at that door panel. Of course it's custom. Custom carpeting, custom gauges in there, custom steering wheel just looking absolutely beautiful and look at these seats i tell you what take a look at that back seat that looks pretty comfortable back there i tell you what you could probably watch a movie in there take this baby to drive in she's absolutely gorgeous grab these keys so we can check out the trunk also all the stainless is highly polished i mean it looks like chrome it's so polished then of course Look at the exhaust coming out there. Wait till you see those exhaust pipes once we get it up in the air. Those are one piece, man. They're about three feet long and just looking beautiful. Let's see if I can figure out how to get the key in here. There you go. Look at that trunk. Look at that. You ever seen anything like that? I haven't. It's got tie downs there, so if you want to put some luggage in there. Of course, you don't want your luggage banging into that beautiful paint job. The battery's mounted in here, too. Look at that. The latch has been chromed. The latch has been chromed down here. I mean, the, the, I mean, the body work and the paint work inside the trunk is better than most cars on the entire car. Look at this. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now, look down that passenger side. Oh, i got to show you one more thing. For those of you who don't know how to put gas in a 57 Chevy, look at that. That's where you put the gas in. Now on a 56, the tail light it actually folds down. And on a 55, you got a little gas door here on the side. Just look at this thing. Absolutely beautiful. Look how big that dish is on those wheels. I mean, just everything about this car is right. See the fitment on this passenger side door too? Again, just like the driver's door. All this stainless, again, so highly polished, it looks like chrome. Now guys at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do consignment. That means we own this car, so we did our homework before we bought it. The first thing that happens to every car here at Vanguard is they go up on the lift and they get inspected, they get pictures, they get videos, so we can show you and tell you exactly what your dream's gonna look like when we park it in your drive. Let's take this 57 for a ride. You want to talk about sweet, man? She's got a sweet sounding exhaust. Driving amazing. I tell you, one beautiful car right here. Now, we're going to do something that nobody else in the industry does. We're going to put this baby up on the left like we do every car in our inventory because we are proud of every one of our cars. That way you can take a look at the bottom side and don't forget you can go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. You can see about 100 pictures of the car on the website after you get done watching this video.
She is a sweetheart, guys. And I want to hear something about one of your Tri-5 experiences. Let me tell you a quick one of mine. Uh, 57 Chevy, last time I was at the uh, drag strip with my car, he was actually running nitromethane. Great big tires on the back. And he freaking took off like a bat out of hell in the beginning. And he got about down to about, I don't know, I don't know, a little past the 60 foot mark, I guess, and got sideways. And that car got up on its side and you could see the whole bottom of the car. And it just about came to a complete stop and then boom, fell right back on the tires. That guy had to be sweating bullets. Just an amazing car right here. Just listen to that exhaust sounded good. And don't forget we can ship it anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you all about this beauty. You know, we're going to get it inspected. You can go to our website and read a whole ad about it on our website. Um, probably got, I don't know, it'll take you half an hour to read all the information we got on this thing. Just love the exhaust. My dad used to say, that sounds like uh, clapping two pieces of metal together, man, when you get on it. This sounds amazing. i tell you what, this red paint is just glowing in the sunshine. You take this baby to a car show, I guarantee you, you're going to win some ribbons and some trophies. Everybody's going to be cranking their head around and checking out this baby. Now we're headed back to our storage warehouse, which is Junction Street. I know you hear me talk about it all the time. That's our big warehouse where we store all the cars. So if you come visit us, make sure you come over to Junction Street. That's where the bulk of the cars are. If you're in town, don't forget, there's a lot of stuff to do here in Detroit. You've got the Henry Ford Museum, that whole Greenfield Village, everything just looking sweet down there, man. I tell you, it's been a lot of years since I've been down there. I got to go back one of these days. A lot of fun to see. They got, I remember one thing, Henry Ford's first motor he ever built. That's down there. That's really cool, man. Now we're headed back there to Junction right now where we're going to put this baby up in the air so you can see just how nice the bottom side is. We're going to show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on this Tri-5. Just love how comfortable she's driving. Nice and smooth. The brakes feel good. Steering feels great. And of course, you know what the exhaust sounds like. It sounds amazing. Here we are at Junction Street. I'm gonna whip around the corner right here and get this baby up on the lift so you can check it out. All right, we're underneath this 57 now and man, is it cool under here. Just look at this tailpipe. Look how, I mean, that's all one piece. You can't tell. I mean, it's like absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful job. And then, of course, now you're looking at the rear end housing. Isn't this amazing? This is one giant chunk of billet aluminum, it looks like. They took a CNC machine and carved it into a rear end housing. Isn't that sweet? Now, she does have a 350 gear in there. You see it's got the inboard uh, disc brakes just like the um, old Jaguars had. Uh, it's kind of a takeoff of the Jaguar rear end set up here, just looking sweet. Uh, and then we got these trailing arms holding it nice and steady. A lot of times these would do us some tweaking. So we got trailing arms here holding it in there nice and steady. And then the frame on the whole car is completely custom. Just looking amazing under here. Look at the finish work under here. Look at what they went through just to put the parking brake cable in. They've got these Borla mufflers tacked up in here nice and neat. Then the brake line here. Look at all these little P-clips here looking sweet. I mean, we've got a cooler here. We've got our fuel filter here. Our fuel line's tucked up in there. It's all stainless steel. We've got a 700R4 trans. All the exhaust is coated all the way up. Even the uh, cover for the torque converter's been coated. The headers are coated. You can see that the frame is completely custom front to back. 
We got tubular upper and lower control arms here. We got a nice sway bar up front here. Of course, this brakes up front also. Those wheel wells are painted up just as nice as the top side is. I mean, just everything under here is looking sweet. These bumpers are all been re-chromed, looking great. I forgot to point out in the back bumper there, um, I believe uh, it said Sherms. Um, must be the re-chromer. He etched his name in the back side of the bumper. Very, very cool. Uh, he's so proud of it, he signed his name to it. Uh, we got Budnick wheels. Of course, Willwood disc. Um, these are Michelin 3, no, 235, 45, 17s. Look at the finish on those wheel wells. Now, you will have to invest in some mirrors to put underneath this car because you're going to want to show off the bottom side of this car because the bottom side of this car is just as pretty as the top side. You can see that rocker panel there looking sweet. Always look at the pinch weld on any one of these cars. Now, I always point out on these Tri-5s to look at this brace. This is the first thing I look at on every Tri-5. Of course, this one's absolutely gorgeous. And then we got the Budnick wheels on the back. We got 255, 45, 18s out back. And just look at that beautiful car, man. Doesn't she look sweet? Well, we're gonna lower it down and see what's making the horsepower. All right, under the hood here, we got a ZZ350 motor. I mean, and look at all the aluminum. Look at all the custom fab work. Look at, I mean, you don't know where to stop looking. I mean, you walk up under the hood of this, you're gonna spend an hour looking at everything. Look at the heater hoses here. Look at that, how they bent that all around and they go in all in solid pipe. And then look at the upper radiator hose here. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Workmanship on this car is over the top. So everything that's aluminum is polished. Everything that can be chromed is chromed. You can see those upper control arms up there all chromed up looking good. Again, that custom frame, it's a, uh, it's a Morrison frame. I see the tag right there. So uh, Art Morrison frame. The firewall's nice and clean. We've got um, HEI distributor. We got an Edelbrock intake with an Edelbrock four barrel carb sitting on top of that. You see the fuel lines, how nice everything is, and all the uh, even the vacuum lines, they've run those in stainless pipe. Uh, we've got um, power steering, power brakes. Uh, this is the reservoir for the power steering fluid. This is the reservoir for the re radiator. I was gonna say radiator. Now, look at this. This radiator looks like it'll keep a D8 dozer cool. And then we've got the condenser up here for the AC. You can see all the AC lines are also ran in this stainless. I mean, the workmanship on the car is just amazing. And then take a look at that closeout panel there where all those lines are going into the, uh, underneath the dash. Just absolutely beautiful. You can see they chromed up the hinges and then the paintwork on the bottom side of the hood. I tell you what, you can be more proud of the bottom side of your hood on this car than most people are on the top side of their hood. They even chromed up the hood latch. Guys, this is a phenomenal car, so give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your driveway.